GPX glass processors and LFS large fiber splicers use resistive filaments to process fibers and form splices with minimal loss. In this video, we will walk through the parameters that control a simple splice and then execute the splice. For repeatable results, it is important that the filament be normalized first. Splice files for typical filament types and fiber diameters are pre-installed on the computer that ships with your unit. The parameters for a specific splice file can be viewed by going to the Splice menu and selecting Splice Properties. Pre-gap is the distance between the fiber tips before the splice begins. Pre-push is the distance the right fiber advances before the filament is brought to operating temperature. Hot push is the distance the right fiber advances while the filament is at temperature. This will push the molten glass of the right fiber into the molten glass of the left fiber, and is what forms the splice. Push velocity is the speed in microns per second of the pre-push and hot push. Hot push delay is the time in seconds between the filament reaching its operating temperature and the hot push beginning. Argon is the flow rate in liters per minute that argon will flow into the filament body during the splice. This provides an inert environment that prevents filament oxidation and also helps to keep the fibers clean during the splice. During a typical splice, the filament is centered under the fibers. However, when a splice is between fibers of different sizes, material, or structure, one side may be more or less responsive to the heat supplied. It may be beneficial for the filament to be moved slightly towards one side. Splice offset allows a user to set that distance in microns. Positive distances are to the right. On duration is the time in seconds that the filament will stay at its operating temperature. Power is the nominal electrical power supplied to the filament. Because the thermal response of the filament will change over its lifetime, a filament power offset is added to this nominal value. The filament power offset is determined as a part of the normalization process. Fire polishing is a process where the filament remains on after the splice, and the splice head travels back and forth on either side of the splice region. In some cases, this can increase the strength of the splice and decrease the loss. The ramp and multi-stage tabs have parameters which further affect how the filament and motors behave during a splice. Most splicing can be performed without utilizing these options, but contact us if you have an application that requires modifying these parameters. To execute a splice, first move the fiber holding blocks to the load fiber positions. Strip and cleave two fibers and load them into the fiber holding blocks. In front view, make sure the right fiber is in focus and align the fibers. Then in back view, be sure the left fiber is in focus. Gap the fibers and align them again. Now both fibers should be on the fiber line and in good focus in both front and back views. Align them once more in both front and back views. It is normal for the screen to go dark while switching views. Click the Splice Only button to execute the splice process. The camera tower will move to the home position. The splice head will move to the right and the argon rate will increase from the background flow rate to the splice flow rate. When the filament is under the tips of the fibers, it will move up and the right fiber holding block will step forward by the pre-push distance. The filament will ramp up to temperature and the right fiber holding block will move forward by the hot push distance. At this point, the splice is formed. If no fire polish is enabled, the filament will lower to its home position as the argon flow rate returns to the background level. The splice head will then move left to return to its home position. Move the camera to the back and front positions to view the splice. Alternatively, one button splicing fully automates the splice process.
With the click of a single button, the unit automatically executes each step of the splice process, producing the same reliable, repeatable results.